It's now news review time. Stay tuned to Press TV. The Iranian President Brahim Raisi has blasted Western hypocrisy as regards the recent riots in the Islamic Republic. He says that the West promoted propaganda that uh, portrayed Iran on the decline. He, however, said that Western powers also sent messages that they did not seek subversion in the country and they are ready to resume talks on the revival of the 2015 nuclear deal. The President also says the riots were a multifaceted war on Iran including by such powers as the U.S. and anti-Iran groups as MKO terrorists. Raisi also warned against attempts to undermine Iran's national solidarity. He says any such move will be in line with the enemy's strategy of undermining Iran's independence. All right, to discuss this, I'm joined by a couple of guests. Uh, let me invite Fuad Izadi, professor at the University of Tehran. Also with me is Marcus Papadopoulos, he's a historian, political analyst, and author, joining us from London. Good to see you, gentlemen, both. Now, Professor Izadi, uh, what is it exactly that uh, uh, authorities in the West want Iran to do? They, they want to revive the JCPOA, that's what they're saying. At the same time, uh, they're openly uh, supporting uh, riots in Iran and even teaching them what to do, how to attack security forces and all that, and those, you know, as Persian speaking, London-based TV channels operating as war rooms, and the West is just encouraging them, maybe, and even in some cases funding them instead of stopping them. So what is it exactly that they want to do? Well, they want to uh, overthrow the Iranian government. They have been trying to do that for the last uh, 43 years. And the argument they are uh, making in practice is that while we are uh, working <clears throat> on overthrowing government, uh, let's uh, have talks to make sure that you don't have a nuclear program. That's the basic uh, idea. And even uh, for the talks, they drag their feet. And the reason they do that is that there's this uh, contradiction that if you want to overthrow the government uh, and then you want to have an agreement, Iran would not sign an agreement unless the sanctions are lifted or suspended, then that would result in less sanctions on Iran, which is counterproductive to the idea of overthrowing the government. That's why there is this uh, level of confusion in the West, because at the same time that they want to overthrow the government, at the same time they want mm -hmm. to stop Iran's nuclear program, and you cannot uh, have your cake and eat it too. You cannot have <laughs> exactly. it both ways. And <laughs> exactly. that's the difficulty they have. Yeah, yeah I was just gonna, going to use that proverb and just mention that you can't just uh, uh, eat the cake and have it. So Marcus, uh, uh, they can, um, when you, if you want to uh, talk about deals, you know, and coming to an agreement, in the first place, one of the first preconditions is that you got to be honest and you got to show that you have good intentions. So is this the way that the West is showing good intentions to Iran? Ultimately, the West, principally America and Britain, seeks to overthrow the Iranian government, seeks the destruction of the Iranian revolution, and seeks to re-establish Western direct rule in Iran. How Iran was ruled under the Shah prior to the Iranian revolution. However, the West projects itself to the rest of the world as the defender of democracy, as the defender of international law. Therefore, the West on the one hand in public has to be seen as seeking a diplomatic compromise with the Iranian government concerning, for example, the JCPOA. But on the other hand, in private, through subversion, the West is using various means at its disposal to not just weaken Iran, not just to try and weaken the Iranian economy, but also to vilify, to demonize Iran, the Iranian leadership, and the Iranian people. And naturally, the Western ruling elites do so via Western mainstream media. 
Western mainstream journalists are purveyors of deceit. They are um, peddlers of falsehoods and they are spreaders of disinformation. Western mainstream media is neither free nor independent. Therefore, it is only inevitable that Western mainstream media will be employed by the Western ruling elites to project Iran to the rest of the world as a economic wasteland, mm -hmm. as a land of tyranny, and as a land of savages. And then Western politicians in public attempt to mm -hmm. distance themselves on occasions from what Western mainstream media is doing. So in short, it is an act by the West. Mm -hmm. Whatever the West says in public about Iran, we can dismiss entirely. It is what the West is doing in private through subversion, which reveals the true intentions, the true nature of the Western ruling elites when it okay. comes to Iran. So, uh, Fadi Zadi, uh, what would you do? I mean, if you see such an approach, that's I mean, what the I'm talking about the approach adopted by uh, the West. What would you do? I mean, would you go back to the negotiating table when you see what they are doing? I mean, is it flogging a dead horse, or you, you would pin hope on reviving the deal? You know, uh, I, I think what Iran has done in the last uh, 42 years is to develop this uh, culture of resistance. So you resist uh, these pressures that is coming from the West. That's the number one thing you do. Mm. And the second thing you do is to make sure that there is a the level of popular support because if you want to uh, resist the West, you need to make sure that the people uh, in Iran are uh, going to be able to do that, be able to resist and are with that idea. And it, if it wasn't for the Iranian people, the Iranian government would not have been able to uh, resist these type of pressures. And, and the third thing that uh, Iran has done is to uh, not leave this uh, negotiating table. Uh, because if you do that, then the other side would uh, engage in this blame game that we wanted to reach an agreement and Iran is refusing. Mm -hmm. uh, so you play along uh, with the charade that has been going on uh, for the last number of years. Okay. Uh, and uh, you don't uh, hope to get anything out of it. You continue that uh, idea of uh, the economy that is resisting this type of pressures. You don't wait for the outcome of the talks in some European capital. Uh, you continue the work that needs to be done inside Iran. Uh, with all the things that I said, I think you will be, will be able to manage uh, this type of pressure okay. as Iran has done so in the last 43 years. Uh, Marcus, we have one minute left. Uh, let me know uh, if you agree uh, with uh, Professor Izzedi. Yes, I do agree with your guest in Tehran. If the Iranian government was not to enter into these farcical discussions with Western governments, then Western mainstream media would project the Iranian government to the rest of the world as not being interested in seeking compromises as not being interested in seeking diplomatic solutions. So the Iranian government, alas, has very little choice but to enter into these discussions. Even though these discussions are farcical, they are a complete and utter waste of time. The Iranian government has to play the game. But at the same time, the Iranian government and the Iranian people as a whole need to simply do what they have done since the Iranian mm. revolution of 42 years ago. Focus on right. Iran, focus on the Iranian economy, and focus on the welfare of the Iranian people. Okay, I appreciate your comments and insight. Fadi Zadi in Tehran, Marcus Papadopoulos in London. Thank you for watching this episode of News Review.